retinol, vitamin C, and sunscreen. Three of the most evidence-based skincare ingredients, which is why dermatologists like myself recommend them all the time. But how do you know if the skin products that you're actually using are science-based and backed by evidence, or if it's just good skincare marketing and gimmicks? And no, medical grade or clinical grade products are not necessarily backed by science or evidence-based. Yes, there are some fantastic medical grade products, but not all of them. So don't let that term medical grade or clinical grade make you think that somehow it is backed by science. That is simply a marketing term. It does not mean anything. It is not regulated by the FDA. There's no standard regulations, rules, or protocols that a product has to follow in order to be medical grade. So just like there are some fantastic over-the-counter products that have a lot of research and development behind them, there are also some fantastic medical grade products. And sometimes the over-the-counter products actually have more R&D or research and development behind them than the medical grade products. Truth be told, there's a lot of misinterpretation of science or pseudoscience and false claims found in both over-the-counter as well as medical grade products. The most evidence-based skincare or topical product that you would ever put on your skin is of course going to be something that is indeed prescription. To treat something like acne, we all know about tretinoin, so much FDA regulation, clinical trials, proven safety, data, and efficacy before a medication or a drug can actually make it to market. So of course they have the most science-backed and evidence-based data. And then there's the category of monograph drugs. So these are medications that are readily available over the counter, don't require a doctor's prescription. These would be things like your moisturizers that have SPF or your adapalene, bismuth peroxide, salicylic acid type of ingredients have to clinically show efficacy, safety, etc. Then there is the next category of cosmetics. So this is where we're talking about over the counters and also medical grade products. So this is where products get a little bit hit or miss because there is no FDA regulation behind cosmetics or cosmeceuticals and there is no regulation behind the terms like medical grade and you have to be a bit of your own investigator to figure out which products are backed by science, efficacious, and are gonna actually do what they say they can do. The good news is that once you learn how to weed past false marketing claims and gimmicks, building an evidence-based skincare routine is actually quite simple. Let me show you how. Depending on your skin type and skin concerns, there are five core products most people should start with. A cleanser to thoroughly cleanse your face, removing dirt, pollutants, dead skin cells, and excess oil that your skin accumulates during the day, but without stripping your skin barrier. And cleansing is when your skin barrier is at its weakest. So getting this step just right is one of the most important things that you can do for healthy skin. And this is often the culprit of where skin issues begin. An antioxidant to protect from environmental stressors, moisturizer to replenish skin's protective layer, seal in your skin's moisture barrier and improve its ability to defend from damage, sunscreen to keep your skin healthier for longer and keep hyperpigmentation, fine lines, wrinkles, UV damage, and the risk of skin cancer at bay. And lastly, a targeted treatment to address specific skin concerns. For example, with hyperpigmentation, we need to suppress the overproduction of melanin, so think of tyrosinase inhibitors. For anti-aging, the focus shifts to encouraging production of collagen and elastin, so think retinol. If illness is a concern, you really wanna increase the skin cell turnover, so we're thinking AHAs and BHAs here. For acne, we would focus on products that are proven to help with acne, so adapalene, benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, etc. We often focus on which active can help us solve certain skin conditions but the integrity of your skin barrier should always come first. You're gonna be so much more successful trying to clear acne or hyperpigmentation if you're not working with a damaged or weakened skin barrier. Here are the guidelines that I like to use when I'm assessing products to deem whether or not it is evidence or science-based. Step one, look for scientific studies. We wanna use products that have sufficient levels of good quality evidence that they actually work. This means that the product has been subjected to rigorous testing to ensure its safety and efficacy. Look for products that have been tested on a diverse range 
range of individuals, as this will help ensure that the product is effective for a wide range of skin types. Too often, these big, reputable companies do not include those with skin of color in their studies. In fact, it is illegal to do data and safety testing and efficacy on only white skin. So the reason that you hear me recommend certain brands over and over again is because I really seek out brands that value diversity and inclusion on not just the research and development, but also their scientists, the dermatologists involved, and most importantly, the participants enrolled in their clinical study. Now, if you have certain conditions like eczema, you can actually check for third-party certifications like this eczema seal of approval. These certifications indicate that the product has met certain standards and has been tested by independent organizations. Step two is to check the ingredients. For example, retinoids are a common ingredient found in many anti-aging and acne-fighting products, and they have been extensively studied and proven to be effective. Other ingredients such as antioxidants like vitamin C and niacinamide and steramides are also backed by scientific research and are known to offer benefits for the skin. Another important factor to consider is the concentration of active ingredients. Many products may contain an ingredient that has been scientifically scientifically proven to be effective, but if the concentration is too low or not what we call in the therapeutic index, it may not have noticeable impacts on your skin. Therefore, it's important to check the ingredients list and make sure that the active ingredients are present in high enough concentrations to be effective. Step 3. Consider product formulation as well as packaging. It is never about a single ingredient as much as it's about the overall formulation of the product. Products that have been formulated to penetrate the skin barrier and deliver active ingredients deep into the skin, such as serums, are more likely to be effective. Step four, which is definitely the most subjective, which is do I trust the brand in regards to their safety, their stability, and their quality of data? Because unfortunately, technology is just not listed or described on those list of ingredients. This is why two ingredients sourced from different manufacturers can yield completely different outcomes. Keep in mind that if even the most evidence-based quality skin skincare ingredient is not aligned with your skincare goals, it's not the right product for you. And remember that if a product seems too good to be true, it probably is. Watch this video here to make sure that you're using the right retinol for your skin type. Thanks so much for watching. Be well.